Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is like a update, I guess, on this hair that I'm currently wearing. And this hair is by Best Lace Wigs. And I actually had this wig on before in a previous video where I showed you guys how to make a U part, not a U part, what? How to make a lace wig look natural. And I wore that wig, I wore this wig in that video. This is the kinky straight wig. I've had the wig for, I did that video in December, so I believe I've had the wig for about December, January, February, March, April, May. It's been almost six months since I've had this wig, so I wanted to do like a six month update. I don't wear hair all the time, especially not the same hair. I usually wear wigs maybe once or twice a week, and if I do wear a wig, it's probably not the same one that I wore previously in other videos. Um, I'm trying new things constantly, and I'm constantly cleaning out my inventory and getting new stuff, so um, I don't really stick with the same wigs, but when I do stick with the same wigs, that means that I really love them. This hair, is super natural it's like it reminds me a lot of my hair when it was longer and it was like well not this long but when my hair was longer and i would blow it out that's what this reminds me of it is a really great texture for african-american hair the see my hair trying to poke out this is what the hair texture looks like it is very kinky i used a curling wand like i always do in every single hair video whenever my hair is curled. I've only, I don't use curling wands. I mean, I don't use curling irons. I don't use flat irons to curl my hair. I only use a curling wand and I just take the curling wand and wrap the hair around the barrel away from the face and I let the curls fall how they want to. Usually it ends up in like a wavy kind of thing. Um, so sometimes it doesn't, depends on the length of the hair, depends on the texture, it depends, it just depends. But I always do my hair the same. So if you guys want a curling tutorial, in the card section or in the description box, I will have a link to how I curl hair, but it's really, really simple, guys. It's like the easiest thing ever. I just take a curling wand and wrap it around the curling wand. It's so easy. Um, so I won't be doing a tutorial on this, but if you guys beg and plead for it, I might do a tutorial, but it's literally the same thing that I do every time I curl my hair, every single time. I think the density on this wig is a lot more than most I think it's a 120 density I want to say because it's a lot of hair on this wig um and it's not heavy though it feels lightweight light as a feather you can move around and I just love it I really love this wig best lace wigs has some of the best lace wigs ever I know that sounds really stupid because it's called best lace wigs for a reason right they have some of the best wigs ever I love their wigs because they they work well straight out of the box this is my first time actually styling the hair for real for real usually i just you know you know run a flat iron over it or whatever but um i wanted to like curl it and show you guys how you can like switch it up so um this is what it looks like when you curl the wig now i did do something different to make sure that this wig was staying on my head because for some reason i think the way that i cut the lace off didn't do right so this part sticks up so what i did was i got some and this is a trick that Alyssa Forever and Ashley taught me. Clear lash glue and you brush it onto this part right here where your part goes and you hold it down for about 30 seconds. Boom, your wig is flat and it ain't going nowhere, okay? And I just put some concealer on top of the parts. So if you guys need any, from, any information about the wig itself, um, just look down in the description box. I will have all the details that you need. Video, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later. Bye.